up, gang? Knox with you. Oh, what day is this? 35. Day 35, run number 21. Two miles, 26 minutes. It's a comeback, especially after yesterday. And to be honest with you, I got no explanation. No explanation. Um, okay, well, I do have maybe an explanation. I think yesterday I was dehydrated. So we'll come back to that later. So, um, got to two miles, 26 minutes. Felt good, felt psyched, ran later in the day. And uh, what can I say? All right, so let's talk about listening to the body. Trainers, instructors, coaches, they all tell us, listen to your body. The problem is, our bodies are speaking a language that we don't understand. Sometimes you can do everything the same way and your body responds differently. Okay, for instance, yesterday, I thought I was strong, had attitude, came out, I was going to kill two miles. I only got one, and it almost killed me. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Where did I feel it? Up here in the chest. What does that say to me? Like I just came up with? Dehydration. Usually, right here in the chest area, or in the back of the head, um, up here, headache area, like in hangovers, I interpret that as dehydration. Am I right? I don't know. I drink water, I feel better. All right, so we'll say that. Now, when I was in LA, for no particular reason, no reason that I could come up with yet, um, my ankle swelled up and got sore. Oh. So I'm limping on it. I go to the Y, I work it out, I'm in the whirlpool. I'm not taking any painkillers because I don't want to kill the pain. I want to feel the pain so when it goes away, I know that it's really gone away. All right, so I'm limping on this thing for a couple of days. Then I get kind of mixed up in my directions and I have to walk three miles. So I walk three miles on this swollen ankle with a backpack and by the time I sit down, the ankle's cured. There's no more swelling, there's no more pain, and I'm good to go. Now, what was, what was my body telling me? The conventional wisdom is when you have you know, soreness or swelling, you ice it up. Last thing you want to do is walk on it. The very last thing you want to do is walk on it for miles and miles. So, like I say, the body tells you different things and it's up to us to interpret it. How do we interpret it? Just like any other language, it's got to be trial and error. All right, there are times when I don't work out for a while and my joints get a little tight. They start to ache, especially my knees. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to rest it, ice it, heat it, get in the water? No, I go for a run. I do some squats. I get the fluid floating around in there. And uh, by the time I'm done the workout, it's, it's good. No, no more pain. So when we as quote unquote professionals tell you to listen to your body, you have to know what your body's saying. And uh, that's the thought for the day, the idea. Um, and of course, our bodies, like I say, I think I said it before, but one more time before I sign off, our bodies talk to us in different languages. So we have to interpret what's going on. And one more thing, 
I think the second thing. Uh, when you take chemical substances, that kind of garbles the speech. So for instance, if you have pain and you take a painkiller and the pain is gone and you think your body's telling you that the pain is gone, it's not really gone. So you can't trust that. Motorcycle. <laughs> so um, anyway, you got to keep that in mind as well. All right, I think I've rambled enough. This is the only clip for the day that I know of. Uh, I gave you all the numbers. This is Noxoma. Peace. Try again tomorrow. Later. Noxoma, signing off. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.